So I'm here with Lana Del Rey, and I have a whole bunch of fan questions. They've just flooded my inbox, right? And I just have to ask. But before that, I need to ask a personal question. You have such a beautiful smile. Oh, thank you. But you don't really smile in your photos and your videos. Is there is there a reason for that? Well, I just find I'm more of like a contemplative person, and so I actually am really happy. But um. I find when I'm thinking most of the time, and so it just doesn't really lend to a smile. But、uh, I actually, no one ever asks me to smile in my pictures. <laughs> They want me <laughs> to seem sad, so it's kind of always a sad undertone. Okay, so this is a question from Shi Yun.、Um, can Lana tell us how you keep your hair so beautiful and smooth? My hair is so beautiful and smooth. I have、um, my good friend Anna comes with me.、Uh, To all my shows, and she uses a lot of Shiamura products and lots of oil, and、um, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Okay, one here from Jelly Gottlieb. I hope I got your name right. Nicest thing a fan has ever done for you that made you smile. My fans are so nice to me all the time. Like when I got to the airport in Singapore, they bought me.、Um, Bouquets of roses and orchids.、Um, a lot of people write the nicest notes and tell me about what they've been thinking when they're listening to the music. And so, generally, the fans are pretty much a lot like me. And that's kind of just what they write to me about in the letters, just that they feel similar. <laughs> okay. One here from Samantha Chan.、Uh, Samantha Chan wants to ask Lana what she's going to do with a Die Young tattoo if she gets to live old. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good question.、Um, well, I decided that I would just use it as an inspiration to live every day like it was my last day, even if I keep on going. And so, it's more of just an inspiration to stay young in my mind, even when I feel tired and old. <laughs> Okay, one here from Deborah Oliveira. This is, I think, from Brazil. She's a huge fan of yours.、Um, what is the meaning and reason behind the world, the word paradise for you? Since you've been using it often in lyrics, name、mm-hmm. for the new album, and your tattoo. For me, every so often, I find a word or a place that really speaks to me.、Um, so s- certain certain words.、Um, I mean, I believe words are sacred. They're the one thing that translates across all. Sp- The spectrums of humanity. So, I believe in the power of really loving words, or really, in my case, I love really tropical words, or kind of words that suggest a heavenly afterlife, like heaven or paradise. Or、um, so I just really love words that have an exotic ring to it, and I kind of try and incorporate it into my music in hopes of manifesting my actual surroundings to kind of be as beautiful as those words. Yeah. Or pineapple, or coconut. <laughs> They're exotic. They are. <laughs> okay, one here from Sierra Bardo.、Uh, you once said that you would eat spaghetti for dinner every night. I know Sierra. Oh, you know her. I do. What sauce would you like to have with it? I only have the same sauce every night. It's plain tomato. <laughs> yeah, plain,、uh, plain tomato sauce. So. That's good. Yeah.、Um, Tanusha Priya wants to ask, why did you change your name from Lizzie Grant to Lana Del Rey? Because I wanted to have a name that was as beautiful as the music I was going to make. So, did you not think that Lizzie Grant was a beautiful name?、Um, it just never personally spoke to me. Yeah, for me, it just didn't really feel like it was mine. Yeah, I didn't feel like. Yeah, I didn't feel like it belonged to me. I, I kind of. Yeah, I kind of decided. That I would be the one who decided what my name was, and I would decide where I lived, and I would decide what I would do, and I, d- I just never deny my creative urges, or you know, when it comes to my short videos or the record, I just, I, I just have a really strong instinct, yeah, sonically, and yeah. That's great. And Kyrul Mubin, what inspires you to make music videos that seems like it's from the '70s era? Mm, I think because I really am inspired by the texture that film used to have. Instead of like a new digital empty atmosphere,、um, things end up looking vintage when I do them. Because I always f- use film to film the videos. Because I just believe in the quality of having a physical conduct between. What you're shooting and what gets translated. So, I just really love texture. The way if you can record to tape, it's also a better mechanism. Yeah. So, we, are you ever gonna do what、um, Dave Grohl <laughs> has done with Foo Fighters, recording on an eight-track in a basement? 
<laughs> Probably only just for my personal records, yeah, only for fun. <laughs> okay. It's a lot of work to record to an 8-track, 4-track, yeah. Okay, everybody seems to want to know this, okay? Are you ever going to be coming to Singapore? That is the yeah. most common question. Yeah, well, we're definitely talking about next summer, but I hope we get here sooner because since I've gotten here, I've really... I've really gotten a better understanding of how many amazing people are here, so I really hope so. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be a full concert? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. And your collaboration with Lady Gaga, is it going to go beyond like a video collaboration? Are you going to be doing music and all that? Come on! I don't think there is a collaboration. <laughs> are you ever not going to work together? I don't, I don't know. We, we, we haven't spoken. Yeah, we, we haven't spoken. So I think she's probably busy making her record. I don't, think, I, don't think she, I don't think that's on her agenda. Okay, if you could work with someone, who would you work with? Dead or alive? Dead or alive. Well, I love the king. love Elvis. Um, and then, mm, yeah... I loved Frank Sinatra as well, so I don't know. Probably those, those two. All right, thank you so much, Lana.